I'm Tanya from the Bucket Pottery Company based up on the Murray Firth uh, in the northeast of Scotland. Um, today uh, we're just going to do a little video on how to roll a basic slab. Um, I'll show you what equipment you need um, and some little tips just to make your life a bit easier. Now today I am using a slab of ES 130, Earth Stone 130. Uh, low fire earthenware clay. However, uh, it's the same process if you're um, if you're using air dry clay. Um, okay, so um, here are a few of the kind of projects you'd be able to make. So there's a little clock with a relief pattern on it. Um, we did a poppy workshop last year and. There's one of the poppies, all made from slab, and even this fella here is made of slabs of clay. Okay, now I'm lucky enough to have a kiln, obviously, of pottery. Um, if you haven't got a kiln, then the difference that it will make is that you can't use air dry clay to uh, for anything that needs to hold water. Basically, that's it. Um, okay. So without further ado, I'm going to move, I live in a tiny studio, so I'm going to have to move the camera around. You may hear um, woofing noises from my dogs. I've got two tiny dogs with all the character of Mae West, the, the pair of them. So they, they will just be waiting for a chance to bark because I'm doing this. Otherwise, they'd be quiet. Um, so I'm just going to move this around so that you can see my board. Now, basically, here's the things that you need. You need a, uh, a porous kind of work surface. So this is just a piece of ply, but you could equally use um, a piece of um, canvas material and roll out on that. OK, I've got a rolling pin. Just common old garden, not special potter's one. Um, a cutting wire for my clay. OK, so... We're going to start by um, cutting a piece of clay. This one's got a mind of its own. There we go. Okay. I'm going to. I'll shape it into a round. We'll we'll, we'll imagine that we we want something round. Ish. Okay. So I'm going to stand up for this. So. What we're going to need to do is it's quite thick as you can see so i'm just going to use the heel of my hand to flatten it down a bit if you don't want to do that if you've got arthritis or something like that that would prevent you from doing that give it a bash with your rolling pin now if you bash it straight down and lift it up the clay is likely to stick a bit but what i do is if you just twist it a little bit can you see what i'm doing um it stops the stickering. Okay, so now we're ready to roll. So, rolling pin on the clay, roll forward a couple of times. Don't go right to the edge because you'll make the edge a bit thinner. So just be, just be mindful of what you're doing. You can lift it up, turn it round a bit, go again a couple of times. Lift up, roll round a bit. There we go. And there is your piece of clay. That's your slab. Now it's fairly um, uniform. The way we've done it, it's fairly uniform in thickness. But if you really needed something that was abs that had to be absolutely uniform. Then these things are roller guides and you can buy them from all good pottery suppliers. They usually come, they come in different sizes and thicknesses. So as long as you know what thickness of clay you think you're going to need, then then get them for that um, thickness. And there we go. And that's how they work. Okay. That's basically your slab. Um, basically all you need to do now is, I think this is quite wet clay, um, so it's quite, it's 
see it's quite floppy but if you leave it a little bit on your board it'll firm up a little bit and um, then you can use your template to cut out whatever you're going to do okay that's it tune in for some more videos different types of things that you can do with your slab of clay uh, pinching demonstrations etc so have a look on the site um, we also have little packs available in our shop that you can use um, so have a look there see what you can find um, okay and good luck good luck bye bye <music>